we've actually, th there's not enough time for that. We've got quite a lot of flying to do today. Um, come on, let's jump on board. Traffic, Cirrus Kilo, Juliet November is inbound. One zero miles to the north on descent, 2300 down to circuit height. Inbound on Australian approach runway 17, estimate circuit time 27 tire. Alright, this is the um, this is the 152 that we're gonna be in. Chris and I are in ship number five in the four ship formation. Tango November Victor. I haven't been in a 172. Uh, 172, it's not even a 172. I've been in a 152 since my training, so this is good fun getting back in this. Chris, I haven't been in a 152 since my initial training. Oh, wonderful! My initial training. So, give me a give me a quick overview. Welcome of this back aircraft. to the Cadillac. Um, <laughs> as you can see, uh, dual controls, two seat trainer. Good fun. Great right. for formation. Great for formation. Yeah, nice and slow. Absolutely. Is that what, what, what you want? You want? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Obviously we need to do a, um, a quick briefing beforehand, so I'm gonna have a quick chat with Chris now in terms of what we're actually gonna be doing on this formation flight. Today we're only operating with four aircraft, but for various reasons, you and I will be over here in number four, okay? And that will give us a view sort of back this way over one, two, and three. Uh, up here we've got the parking and apron and clubhouse area. Yep. Uh, we'll taxi down to runway three, five. We'll line up one, two, three, four right behind each other doing a stream takeoff. So we're still, there's multiple aircraft rolling on the runway Absolutely. at any one time. Yep. Yep. So the, uh, the first aircraft will start rolling uh, and then three, four seconds later the second one will go. We'll continue around onto a nice big wide downwind and then depart overhead the field. And then once we leave the area we'll head down to uh, the beaches of Mornington, mm -hmm. make a right hand turn over the coast and then we'll scoot along the coast about a thousand feet. So you're not on Melbourne Centre? No, point. you're not on Melbourne Centre. Um, what we'll usually do is get the lead aircraft to monitor. Melbourne Centre. Uh, if all of us were listening, it'd just be pandemonium. Yeah, but it's the lead aircraft's job, traffic watch and navigation. So mm. it's on them as well to, to listen to centre. And so I uh, kind of get it, we're all in nice tight formation, etc. but then you yeah. can't land that way. There's a bit of a procedure involved. When mm. we're in this Vic formation, we can't really manoeuvre around too much. We're sort of stuck following number one. When we're coming back in, we're going to be in a formation called Echelon Left. David, who's flying lead, he'll look out and try and find a, a spot in the circuit to slide four aircraft into. Once he finds four aircraft worth of room, He'll give a wave to number two. So he'll, he'll pitch away and turn to crosswind. Number two will putt along for a couple of seconds, then behind him, number three, and then we'll go across to number four. As a newbie to formation flying, I've really never experienced this before myself. Is it right to think you're, you're treating this as one big aircraft? Everything like Clear that. Clear of the runways. We're one big aircraft. All our radio calls into and out of airfields will be something along the lines of tie up traffic, pack formation, four aircraft. And all that's doing is telling everyone else it's not one plane, it's, it's four separate planes, yeah. but we're operating as one unit. So Grace is one of the um, pilots who's going to be in the formation today. Hello Grace. Hi. Why formation flying? Oh, it's just exciting. I think it's pushing the limits of getting used to flying with, you know, an instructor so far away and avoiding planes. It just gets you out of your comfort zone. So once you're airborne, mm -hmm. what's your, your focus, Chris was telling me, is not basically on your instruments, like no. I'm used to flying. You're very much out of the cockpit. Oh, well, it depends on, where, on what type of plane you're flying behind and what you're forming on. So with, um, with the 152s, you can pretty much guarantee if you're forming on a plane that is the same type, that 
um, the airspeed and everything's going to be the same. You, you take off when lead does and you just do what they do and they're technically in charge of everything so you have faith they're doing the right thing. I'll leave you to it. I Thank know you're busy. You. Thanks Grace. What makes you want to do formation flying then Gareth? What's the appeal for you? Really just uh, tightening up the skills. Just practice um, technique and preciseness, precision in, in um, um, aircraft movements. Yeah. From a skills sort of stick and rudder point of view, do you find yeah. that formation flying is helping you improve your overall yeah. flying as well? Yeah, absolutely. It's really improved the flying. So, um, yeah, just the reaction and, and just the way the aircraft moves through the air, it's, it's definitely tighter. Gareth, have a good flight. Yeah. Nice chatting to you. We'll see you, you. See you at the end. I'm really not helping Chris with this at all. Chris, I'm sorry I'm not helping very much. Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, I'm just going to be a passenger today. Chris is pilot in command. I'm just sitting on the seat next to him, just filming this experience to share it with you on the channel. But I honestly think for all the pilots, all five pilots involved today, this is just going to be a huge exercise in concentration.
time for this more like I don't even know where I am Ooh, baby, get hyped to the beat, let's go, cause this is our jam This is our jam Break it down right quick for my haters, my dictators, and bad raiders. Since you never seem to get it right no more, then right no more. Kick back your feet and watch your back from perpetrators. Here I am. Ooh, baby, get hyped to the beat. Let's go, cause this is our jam. This is our jam. Alright, well that's um, that's it for our time down here in Tyab. That was a really interesting like insight into formation flying. Thanks for your time, Chris. My I really pleasure. appreciate that. Um, if anyone out there is watching who like me is now a little bit interested in the whole formation flying thing. Good. Um, down here, I know I'm sure I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Peninsula Air Club, they do uh, flight instruction of all types, but CF formation is one of them. Um, fortunately, all of us here today were able to be trained by one of the instructors here. Um, so it's about sort of five to ten hours of, of dual instruction that you'll get to do, and uh, it really just helps you sharpen up general flying, but uh, yeah, the formation's a, a really nice bonus on top of it. A wicked experience. I really appreciate your time. No Thank you, Chris. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, 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 uh,